so we're just leaving again like always <laughs> but we had a really good night's sleep in this little shallow bay uh, but also as we were discussing yesterday that we need to find the gas bottle but then we said oh we still have time at this moment it ran out <laughs> and you can unfortunately not find them that easily so we had to call around uh, and it seems that enough clear they have one we would need to but they have one I mean it seems to be very spare yeah. spare uh, so now we're going what 20 yeah. 25 nautical miles out of our way yes anyway so, anyway so we try to get there then we have to struggle with the gas bottle or bottles see if we can find two then we are good for the next few months uh, maybe do some shopping and then tomorrow see if we can catch some wind to tuck slowly a bit uh, mm -hmm. south again yeah and slowly position ourselves strategically to round the Peloponnese. Yeah. So, but we have to see. But but this is sailing life, though. Like, yeah, like, uh, like, like, I mean, it's not like it's like super hard work. As you can see, it's a beautiful day and a beautiful sailing. So we're not complaining. But the truth of sailing life is also that sometimes you have to take an entire day just to go and find a gas bottle and might yeah. not even succeed. And a hike, and you have to. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I wouldn't say it's a struggle, but it's definitely. It's very inefficient lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 nothing yeah. is for granted. Like yeah. you, you have to fight to find a good anchorage. You have to, yeah, fight to find water, like you saw in the last video. Uh, especially if you have, I mean, if you had, if we had unlimited uh, amounts or more amounts of money, then it's not a problem. Like you can just buy maybe mm. a cheaper gas bottle, or you just buy induction and never think about it again. Exactly. That's a oh, yeah. That's yeah. two thousand euro. Yeah, thousand euros for a good battery. The new gas and stove we bought like three years ago. Six hundred. It's years. already coming apart anyway. Yeah. So. I mean, then at least you might not be able to cook at night if you don't have battery. But then you can just be okay. I have a little, like we also have a little mm. gas bottle for emergency, and then you can cook the next day as soon as the sun comes down. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really brilliant. Tough life. So. But yeah, so yeah, beautiful day of sailing ahead of us, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. about to arrive in Nafplion. Oh. And look what we have here. I, the seven I think we have the wind straight in the camera to be honest. We have the Seven Seas Voyager. A nice little cruise ship. Mm -hmm. They're embarking their passengers again or disembarking. And now we have to go in the narrow port here. I think it's, it's kind of shallow and but Nafplion was once for a short time the uh, capital of Greece. Did you know that? Did no. You know? I think so. I look, they have a you big castle. You went to school in Greece, you should know. Yeah, they have yeah. A, big, a big castle and so on. So. Do Fancy. they have pizza? Have you not looked it up yet? Yes. Oh, my phone's charging. You had one job. Figure out where you have to go and who you have to report to and where. Oh, wait, should we just worry about actually more without hitting other boats yeah, or sinking our own boat, and then we worry about who we're gonna talk to? Yeah, but I don't know where we're gonna go now. There's like. Oh. Behind us, which is good, kind of. We 
because the boat likes to go in the wind. But it is still quite windy. And, we and have you're still steering like you're drunk. We We're supposed to go over there. And now we we're here. In the middle. Uh huh. Yeah, that know. was the middle you were aiming for. I don't feel like that was the middle we discussed earlier. Quite far, and you don't want to end up having too little chain. But you also don't want to end up putting. You want to put up most of your chain here because they say. Oh, you that feel like somebody has to go and drop the anchor at some point, right? Uh, yeah. I wonder when the right time is. You want to go and drop it? By the way, babe, here was the anchorage, the alternative to the harbor, just there. I think it would have been a bit uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Slightly okay. <laughs> Actually, maybe a bit better than that. stay in Nafplion. Very successful. Very Just calm. Easy docking. Yeah. Then I checked for one of the columns and there was actually still credit on it so it was free water for all our tanks. Otherwise you have to buy the card which is like uh. 10 euros and so on. And then we were waiting for the, the lady to come and charge us. Nobody came. And she didn't come. So we left early. <laughs> <laughs> we have to leave now. And because it's there's like, good wind, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's like, you know, we weren't all honestly sitting there and waiting for her. We saw her and then she just didn't come to our boat. So we don't really know why. Yeah. But we can't sit around and wait all day for no, them to, to show up and charge us money. to create content. Yes. Anyway, but Napoli was a really nice town. It's amazing, actually. It's One really beautiful and it's the largest town cities go in Greece this was very nice yeah. it was easy to walk around like city planning if you've been to a city in Greece you understand that city planning yeah. is something you are actually I would say it's one you, of you the would compliment a lot here <laughs> one of the most yeah. scenic cities and in Greece very beautiful yes and I had been here. no so very nice the tide comes in Pull some sand back into the ocean The land is lost, another fight it cannot win The cycle begins Fall down to the ground just to be reborn again. The cycle begins. I'm 
Captain. Good morning. So what have you been doing today? Uh, oh, let me tell you guys. She's been up since seven editing the videos. Why don't you turn the camera around on yourself when you talk? Like this. She's been up editing. Since seven. So Penella has been up since seven this morning editing the videos, and now I have made her steer the boat. Right, that's really bad. You, you should. Finish talking and then turn the camera, genius. Yeah. So now it's another drift or half a drift day, I think. Mm. We're leaving, what was it called here? Tolos. No idea. Tolos, this little island. We took some nice drone. We went yesterday and collected garbage. <laughs> you know what I wanted to gather? No. Oregano. <laughs> Your girlfriend destroyed that. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Do a little sideways dance there. Yeah, I'm also pretty warm. Aww. Today we delivered it to the village garbage bin and now we're going to the other side of the Peloponnese over there. Slowly. We are slowly moving down and finding our way to this little very well protected bay. <laughs> Yeah, where we were. the southern tip of the next finger of the Peloponnese. We've been there before and there are some quite strong westerly winds coming in. Yeah. In the next few days, so we kind of want to go in there. And so we are really Hang really out nice and, and wait for east. Hang out there, yeah. wait for easterlies and then cross uh, the Peloponnese, right? Yeah. So that's the plan. Yeah. And other than that, how's it going? <sighs> you ask. We got, yeah. Oh, well, we have. We have gas for the stove, we have water. Yeah. Yeah, that we said yesterday. Yeah, exactly. So we're good. What else? Yeah. This is slowly drifting. Slowly drifting away. Careful you don't get YouTube copyright. I mean yeah, I'm your far singing from is so <laughs> It's on tune. I mean that's the thing, it's on tune. Anyway. And key. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But we anyway. need to finish one episode somewhere. I think it's I long due. You're, you're supposed to edit this one. Oh, so I think you need to sit I, down and look at what we have. Yeah, I think we have already much material. 